We're back with some more Let's Play Plasma vs. Zombies. Going to meet the Alan Mac. That was a terrible intro. That was the worst intro ever. Oh my goodness. She's frequently sure. But Cactus's kind of spikes are. are. belly? Bly? Why, why, why do I not know English? Why, why do I not know what that word Why do I not know what this word is? This is, this is annoying me. Filled with love and goodwill. She just wants to hug. She just wants to hug and to be hugged. Most folks can't hug that. Can't hang with that. But cactuses don't mind. She's been seeing an armadillo for a while, and it, it's really seemed to be working out. Hmm, good for her. You can tell cactus is a girl because that little thingy there. Most of the plants are guys, but cactus is a girl. Feminine, feminine, female. That's the split pea. Yeah, I'm a Gemini, says the split pea. I know a big surprise, but having two heads, or really one head with one large head growing on the head of the back, pays off big in my line of work. So. There is the split pea. Also, I didn't really have to mention the split pea fire is two peas backwards, so it's slightly better. No, no, split pea still terrible. That's what I thought. Yeah, never use split pea. Bad, bad, bad plant. Bad plant. There's better ways to deal with the digger zombie. Um, uh, uh digger zombie. Digger zombie spends three days a week getting his activation permits in order. Ah, oh. okay. Damn brains. Balloon zombie really lucked out. The balloon thing really works out, and none of his uh, none of the other zombies have picked up on it. <laughs> Sucker is like, ah, yeah. Weakness cactus and blowfish. Those are literally the only two things that will damage this thing, other than like cherry bombing it or something. So, dangerous ass plant. It's an ass plant. Um, I'm gonna save the puzzle for just a little bit, cause yeah, brave. You already did show one of the puzzles is base breaker, so I'll kind of wait to do that. And we got no new zombies here. We're just getting into like more standardish levels. They're kind of throwing bucket heads at us. Definitely gonna wanna make sure to bring the blower this time. Like, look at this. I'm gonna show you how many things we need mandatory. Like at this point, we need sunshroom. We need this. We need this. We need and that. We need. So that's half our slots right there. We need to get rid of the fog. So that was also what we need. And yeah, now we have three spots. That's it for leisure. Pretty much. I had to show off this because I, I made a promise to myself to always show off the new thing, the star food, which will be the next in line. Really bad for fog levels, but I'm going to have to show it off anyways. I would like to have something for emergency. I'm going to go with the squash. And the doom shroom is awesome, but I'm going to need something more reliable offensively, I think. Here, let me just go with a three-peter or a repeater. I'm deciding. I don't... I'm uh, I mean, the star fruit may be able to give enough backup. Yeah, I'll go with the doom shroom. I... I I, I just can't say no to the doom shroom. I just can't. It's the doom shroom. <laughs> uh, uh, and that fog is really starting to get up here. Get get up in our grill now. It's like literally taking up over half the screen now. So, yeah. I think this is the farthest it goes. Maybe it goes to like just one more thing. Now, now we're pretty much start planting pretty much in the fog almost. Let's say if you can get a good feel for where they are, you can still plant inside of the fog. You just need a good feel. Oh, man. And we don't know where the first zombie is. It may be on the bottom lane. Looks like it is on the bottom lane. Is it? No one's firing yet, so it's kind of making me nervous. Oh, there it is. Right there. There it is, guys. I see it. I'm so smart. Uh, let's put some extra on that. And five short of getting enough for a lily pad. And five short enough from getting a sunshroom. I love you too, game. And that one's... That's here. Gotta stop commenting when I'm seeing. It's just comment. Smart things. Have I done? Have I? Have I done the things? Lily pad. I don't think I have. I'm gonna uh, act lily pad. Lily pad one's kind of funny. Lily pad. As you can see, lily pad has eyes. It has feelings. <laughs> you can even see them blink every so often. It's kind of sad. That they're just an instrument to put other things on. I was gonna say something dirty, but I decided not to. Yeah, my, my, my friend Sheldon, his name is actually not Sheldon, I'm gonna call him Sheldon, because that's what we call him now. My friend Sheldon, he also doesn't get innuendos either. Just like Sheldon. So, it works out awesomely. He's a little better with innuendos than he is with sarcasm, though. He, he can get some innuendos, but it's mainly the sarcasm thing. Like, this is, 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 is his true weakness. Yeah. <clears throat> so. And, yeah. I met his sister. And you know how Sh Sheldon's sister is like really hot. That's also, yeah, that's also, that, that's also a thing. It's kind of crazy. It's the worst thing ever. Nah, she's, she's more, she's more cute than hot though. Let's say that. Let's quick squash that um thing, zombie. The uh, cone head. 
So, yeah, star fruit fires in five different directions. So you're kind of going to want to put them in the middle-ish area so they have the best opportunity to hit a majority of variety of zombies. I don't know. So I'm just going to put that there. Because I, I don't know, I feel like I can make the star fruit work if I knew how to plant them. I really don't. I can't plant that as soon as I get eaten. There's more sea shrooms. Sea shrooms. Sea shrooms. Sea shrooms. I've had, I've, I've had, I've had, I've played games for fun with just the star food as my offensive plan. It's actually pretty fun just to watch them fire in completely different, like, getting like a lot of these. They're just firing right there. Fire is pretty fast, probably about the same as a pea shooter, and it does same damage, standard one, same as a standard P would. Standard, 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 I say that word too much. What I like to do since I can't really see my second row of, um, um, puff shrooms, I just kind of pick one up and just kind of tap around until I, can, until I can plant one, so that's what I do there, so that's kind of a strategy you can do, I'm gonna blow away so I can see what's going on, and we have a little bit more of a threat than I thought we did. And then you just can't really see when your stuff gets eaten when the fog starts moving up that far, so, yeah. Starfruit, is it called Starfruit? Starfruit, yeah. No, it's Patrick! I think there are diggers in this level, so I'm gonna plant some like here, just because so, so, so they can't shoot directly behind them. So it's, their, it's the only direction they fire that's straight is directly behind them, which is kind of funny. Just kinda, just kinda funny. A little bit funny. Sprinkle of funny. I plant one here, and we'll see what we got. I should mention the um, music. Um, there's um, Morshi Har, the person, the um, the composer for all the Fast Zombies. Actually. Has their own channel, and she posts like she posts, she posts piano versions of all her all the Flash vs. Zombie songs, which are really awesome, which is cool. In fact, I used one of them one, one time my audio glitched out, so it's pretty nice. That bucket head is going to be a jerk, and that other bucket head is going to be even more of a jerk because now I don't have a thing charging waiting for it, so that's going to be yeah, star fruit. Hit that, hit, hit it, hit it, hit that, You're gonna hit that. That shit hard. So yeah, you obviously want to kind of like three Peters. You're gonna want to keep them in the middle so they have the most opportunity to fire. Planting them in the edges would minimize their amount of damage output. So stall, bring it stall. Cool people. Again, the extra hundred sun you gotta keep playing to refill is gonna be really annoying. And I don't know what am I gonna do with you. Uh, should I just squash you? I'm gonna squash you. Squash is waiting for you. And I had not noticed you got this far. Um, I'm sh I should be fine. I'm, sh I'm just gonna doom shroom. When in doubt, doom shroom. Everything dies because it's a doom shroom. Ugh. As you can see, these levels are starting to get pretty hard. They're getting pretty close up my lawn. Like I said, don't take this game for being easy. It's pretty difficult. I'm not playing at the top of my game because again, I have that little crutch where I have to use the shitty stuff when they give me shitty stuff <laughs> just to show off everything. Because I would never recommend ever using the Star Shroom, definitely, but... It's still a fun plant, though. I mean, it fires in all directions. It's cool. Like, you can't... Like, you know how, like, you used to count how many peas are in every lane just to see where your coverage is. These things are so unpredictable about where they can hit things. They actually can rack up pretty decently. I'm gonna plant one on top and bottom just so I have that extra coverage for the Digger Zombies, so... And that backwards coverage. I'm apparently working, because when I planted it, I started firing on something. I don't know what it's firing on. <laughs> Maybe it's firing on multiple things. There's no real way to tell. I think it's on the water. Yeah, I can see right there. I think it's a buckethead on the water. Damn it. I should probably do something about it. I think it's a buckethead. I hope that's a buckethead. If that's not a buckethead, I wasted that. But I will never really know. Nope, the buckethead's up here. Yay. Love the fog. Stall! Oh, let's get some more star fruit going. Why not? By the time it gets to here, they get, like, a lot of... Starfruit's gonna be firing on it, so. Yeah, when you get a lot of these, they, they still, like, rack up a lot of damage on things. It's just not as reliable damage is the problem, because they'll sometimes just, just be out of the range of something. When you got these working with these weird angles like this, they can just fall short. Like, when this guy gets here, all of these fruits can fire on it like that, like downward, and that's gonna really take it down from there, so I was fine there. Get there, and yeah, I did, I did mention, but never actually got to show that the craters do fill eventually and are able to be planted on eventually soon after the detonation has occurred. So let's just get some fog away so we can see what's going on. And these guys were completely demolished. We really gotta keep up with that. But again, they get eaten, you just don't notice because the fog, and you can't see half your field. It's really an interesting twist. 
Good job, Popcap. Doing things right. Final wave. You know what the final wave means. Everything gets doom shroomed, gets destroyed. Goodbye. I wish I could have done that to everything, but I couldn't, so whatever. If they will live until I get, get the next Doom Shroom charge, that'd be nice. I love the Doom Shroom. <laughs> I've missed the Doom Shroom. I love night levels just because of the Doom Shroom. Come on, 50 more sun. Give me 50 sun! One more, more. Give me, give me, give me! There we go. And you can die. And now we get the pumpkin. The. Just gonna make sure when I say this. Yes, this is the last of the wall plants. And it is probably overall the best. The pumpkin is awesome. It's like a walnut, has the same bulk as a walnut, except for you can plant things inside of them. Now, any one of your plants, except for one, one type of plant, which really doesn't count. We'll get into why it doesn't count in a while. It's pretty obvious, but every, every, all your kind of plants can now be protected by the pumpkin. And you can stack them with tall nuts. You can have a pumpkin and a tall nut within a tall nut, and that would be like the ultimate defense. The ultimate defense. What's, what's that from when they talk about the ultimate defense? Naruto, the sand. That's what it is. Yeah, I knew it was something. Um, that was weird. Um, definitely gonna want to show them off. Probably not useful for an early game like this. Oh, I just realized they had the pogo stick zombies. There's no good way to deal with. There, there is no good way to deal with these pogo stick zombies right now. I'm gonna have to probably beef up some emergency items just to make sure those things die. Cause again, when there's this many things that you pretty much have to bring, it really limits you. Like I don't know if I should go with the blower to get rid of the s the fog or some reliable damage like a repeater. I'm probably going with a repeater this time because I'm really going to need that reliability. Or, or Doom Shroom, but actually the raw power is probably not going to be that useful. It's probably just going to be like, yeah, TSP Fuse is going to be a little more useful. Let's go with Doom Shroom. Hopefully that was the right play. I pr Yeah, that was kind of stupid. I just realized why. Because I brought the pumpkin, but I have nothing to use it with. <laughs> I'm stupid, but... I can't show off the awesomeness of the pumpkin when there's nothing to use it with, unfortunately. But, but yeah. The pumpkin on concept is awesome. I don't know why I planted a flip pad there. I really wasn't thinking, but... Yeah, anything can now be defensive. Anything can now take as many hits as a walnut could, which is really awesome, and it's gonna be very useful, so... The jack-o'-lantern, as it's called? No, the pumpkin. You can make it a jack-o'-lantern if you put a torchwood inside of it, or a planter inside of it. Yeah, those planters, by the way, like I said before, like, they're kind of unreliable because they, they get eaten a lot easier. You can, you can put a pumpkin within a planter and, like, in front of here, and then you'll have the light and a decent wall plant, so... There's one way you can use the planter indecently, is with in conjunction with the pumpkin, so... That is something you can do to do stuff, so, yeah. And are you done recharging? Who's gonna finish first? Oh, yeah. Mm. Ah. Rockmore more missed. I think the fog level music is one of the most underrated tracks in this game. I love it. Love it a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Love it. Um, where are we not? Oh, there. Yeah, there. Again, fog music are really easy to see the money. They just stick out because it's literally all you can say. Like, literally all you can say. I like literally have no use for this stuff. Literally no use to me. It's West Wild Chase Let's Play. I don't know why I can't stop watching Wild Chase. I have to watch him. I don't know why. I watch like all of his shit. I don't know why I do it though. You know something I started watching a lot more and then I stopped watching him again. Like, oh, Pogo Stick Zombies. I can't even describe the Pogo Stick Zombies. Really, I can't. They're, they're on Pogo Sticks. Um, they're really hard to hit and they'll jump over your plants like that and we'll keep going and I went away again and they are annoying. Even Squashes will have a hard time hitting them most of the time, but I got lucky. And yeah, Pogo Stick Zombies got ate through my defense. That is not nice. I don't know why I planted that there. I wasn't thinking. Oops. Um, come on. I don't know what Okay, only two hits left. Good, th good thing it wasn't too big of a threat. Still kind of freak when they keep walking after they die. Then again, they're zombies. They're pretty much undead anyways. Hopefully the thing's not a cone because I can't really tell. And that's, a, that was, that, that's the real downside of not knowing what type of zombies around. Like, you don't know when a cone head or a bucket head shows up. And you just don't know where to give that extra emergency item support to. And that is what really makes... And I don't have blowers, right? I forgot. I was like, I was, I was going to plant one, but then I realized I didn't bring any this level, so... 
I'm gonna fight blind. Let's play Twilight Princess Blind. I don't want to do that game. If there's, there's ever a blind game that I really want to do is Twilight Princess, because I've never watched Let's Play of it. I've never played the game myself. It's literally the only Zelda game I've never played. Actually, no, it's not. Also, links to the past. And Zelda. Well, I've played Zelda one and Zelda two. But I've never beaten either of them. And I, ne I never even come close to beating any of them. I don't think I've ever gotten the first item in Zelda one. But I played Zelda one, so you can't say I've never played it. So there. Yeah, squash is pretty much the best way to deal with it. Just make sure that he's not in the middle of a jumping animation, because when he's in the middle of a jumping animation, he's completely invincible to everything, and yeah. Um, what are they called again? Uh, I don't know what to do with this thing. I kind of want to do machine, but I'm not sure. I can just cherry bomb, just so I don't have to leave a crater around. So. I, I, I'm sorry, Doom Shroom, I'm sorry. I keep doing that, God damn it! Oh, that was the end of the wave. This is one of my favorite plants in the game. It is the Magnet. The Magnet is destruction. It is, it is mayhem. It is, it is... I love the Magnet. I love the Magnet so much. Like, oh my goodness, the Magnet? Ah, I'm just gonna keep fangasm on the Magnet. Uh, should I... I think we're gonna end things off here. Yeah, I think this is a little bit fair. We're gonna end things off here. Next time, Plants vs. Zombies. Magnet. I think you can see my magnetic personality. Oh, goodness, I hate puns. Bye.